I first start by sketching, then um, sometimes I just go straight to the canvas. Then once the canvas is dissected geometrically, um, just uh, putting my axes, my centering, my topic, um, and uh, working with the size of the canvas that I have in front of me. Um, usually, um, I like to be inside the canvas, not the other way around. I don't like the canvas to be uh, like a, a window I'm looking at, but more so as if the window is looking at me. So I am the subject being looked at. So the painting is coming at the viewer and interacting with the viewer. I try to uh, emphasize on the expression of the characters usually, so it is compelling. Um, also, I use the perspective technique and the colorings, which actually allows a values to appear more important than the colors themselves so uh, when you work with colors you have the color scheme and you use um, the chroma circle to um, instead of using black and white you use color to bring you the black and white values when you turn the saturation off um, it's just a technique I love to use and um, it to me it's natural I see it, it this way I don't see it in another way um, I like to paint Kamayu or draw the chalk and when I paint I paint in the same way um, I use the same brush and the same palette, I never, never wash my brush. So I keep going uh, over and over and over the drawing, um, going with the flow and my palette. So if I'm off from white, I'm gonna start using the reds. And if I'm out of red, I'm gonna use the yellows. And if I'm out of yellows, I'm gonna use the blues or whatever's left over on my uh, palette, I'm gonna use until there is no use to them anymore because sometimes you're in the middle of emptying your palette and you're like mm, it's not going where I want it to go so I'm missing more white or I'm missing more yellow I'm missing more reds or blues um, my reds and blues and yellows and <laughs> primary colors are not always the same uh, I like to use also earth colors earth pigments such as burnt sienna um, amber and yellow ochre. Um, basically, uh, my technique is uh, simple. Uh, I would say more simplified, not simple. It is actually pretty complex. Um, yeah, I, I find it complex. Even myself, sometimes I. I look at my paintings and I find, find little mistakes, errors that I could just adjust and um, it makes people cra go crazy because it keeps changing instead of like going on another canvas and starting something from scratch, I have tendency to go over my own canvases. Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Some of them, you know, it, appeal to me in certain ways and some of them no it all you know it all depends on the mood it all depends on the day and what i want to achieve in the results because there is an expression in the end uh, if it's soft if the painting is soft it's just um soft and if it's rough it's rough so um, sometimes i like to mix both textures to to, to bring in the sentiment an atmosphere or sometimes an environment there is no uh, typical 
character I like to draw, whether it's female or male, or animal, fish, or flower, or house, or anything else. It's just like whatever comes to the mind at the moment uh, where I'm painting. I will just like it's whatever I see, whatever I imagine and see before my eyes, whether it's real or imaginary, I will paint. Yeah, and I follow for my foot on my site. <laughs> Thanks, and this is a Marianne Lens chat with you guys.